Hello there, welcome to Watson's Daily TV. I'm Peter Watson and I'm here with my take on two major topics in this morning's business news distilled for you in three minutes. This is a cut down version of my weekday newsletter, Watson's Daily, in which I usually comment on a number of companies and themes. Can I beat this buzzer? Today, I'm going to talk about uh, Samsung's new bendy phone and the shocker at Sophos. Samsung unveiled the new prototype of a bendy phone yesterday that folds like a book and reveals a 7.3 inch screen when unfolded. A second smaller display is on the outside called the cover window um, and can be used to check emails and perform simple tasks. The company believes that this phone could go into mass production in the coming months and it has already had talks with Netflix and YouTube about how to optimise content for its foldable device. Bendy phones are a hot prospect at the moment because they could provide the design breakthrough that can explode the indifference that is currently holding back smartphone sales around the world. Apple and Huawei are amongst those who have uh, patents on bendy screens. I think that this could be huge and just the boost that the handset makers need to boost sales in a meaningful way. The other thing I wanted to talk about today was the shocker that the UK uh, software security company Sophos had yesterday as it announced that it was cutting its forecasts for the second half of the year, having previously said it expected growth in the six months to the end of March to hit the mid-teens. The shares fell by a massive 39% at one point as investors headed for the exit. As far as I can see, the main problem is that the company saw a huge boost in orders following the WannaCry outbreak in May 2017 and orders have returned to normal levels. This cut in forecast is at odds with what's going on at competitors, so I guess that Sophos will have to wait for another hacker to come along to revive its sales prospects. You can get more detail on these stories and more in my week, uh, my daily weekday blog on watsonsdaily.com. For instance, in today's edition, I talk about the impact of the US midterm results, higher UK wages, disappointments at M&S and Mulberry, along with increasing restaurant closures and BMW's big profit hit. Anyway, Watson's Daily is intended to give you the essence of the day's uh, commercial news with opinion. You can read the whole thing in anything between one and seven minutes. So please go to www.watsonsdaily.com to find more if you're interested. See you tomorrow and thanks for watching. Watson out.